So I've got a brand new Galaxy Z Flip 7 and I'll be turning on this phone for the first time and setting it up. So on the side, you should see this button right below the volume rocker. It's long press on that button until you see the Samsung logo. You might also feel a vibration. So that didn't work first time. So let's try again. Press and hold the power button. There you go, Samsung logo appears, you can let go and allow the phone to boot up for the very, very first time. I've just taken it out of the box. So take some time, she'll see the Android logo, at least if you have the original phone. And there you go, we have our welcome screen with the same color code as the Fold 7 and the Galaxy S25. So let's go ahead and tap on start of course you have to choose your language first so if your language is correct then just tap on start if not make sure you select the correct language first and then of course you have to agree to the end user license agreement and privacy policy and then tap on agree and then you have three different ways of setting up your galaxy z flip 7. you could transfer your information from another galaxy or android device you could transfer your information from an iPhone or an iPad, or you can choose setup manually. Okay. Now for me, I'm just going to choose setup manually for this specific video. And um, the reason I want to do this is because I want to show you the, the whole process. So you can connect to your Wi-Fi. You don't have to, but it would be good to connect to your Wi-Fi. So go ahead and do that. And once you get connected to Wi-Fi, it's going to go to the service provider setup and it may ask you to restart your phone depending on what region you're in. So just wait, be patient. There you go, it asked for a restart. So just tap on restart and allow your phone to restart so that you can pick up your country's correct settings. So after restarting, it's going to ask to connect to a mobile network. You can do that by either inserting a SIM card or setting up an eSIM. But of course, you can do that later. So I'll select set up later in settings and then it's getting my phone ready. And then once again, it's going to ask me if I want to copy apps and data from a different phone. So I'm going to select don't copy. then you'll be prompted to sign in to your Google account. Now this will be useful to use any Google service like the Google Play Store, YouTube, uh, Chrome and whatnot. But of course you can skip and do that later in the settings. So I'll just skip and confirm I want to skip. And then it's going to ask me to protect my phone with any of these uh, security features. Again, I'll skip that and do it later in the settings. And then of course you have to agree to the Google services okay read and tap on accept and then it's going to prompt you to sign in to your samsung account you can do this right now if you want to skip just tap on forgot password and then select set up later in settings and then skip that as well and then of course you can skip that as well then of course, this is for auto blocker, customization service and personal data intelligence. You can check the ones you don't want and then tap on agree and then choose either light mode or dark mode and then tap on next. It's a very straightforward process. And then you have these recommended apps. So you can choose the ones you want to leave out. For me, I'll just have all of them installed. And then you have these instructions about taking care of your phone. Okay, so just tap on next and then you are all set up. So tap on home and it should be good to go. So all the extra apps are going to get installed as you continue. But you can see your Galaxy Z Flip 7 is ready. Okay, that includes the cover screen. There you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, 
feel free to talk to us down in the comment section. Good luck.